think so? Ladies, gentlemen, and monsters of all ages, today we gather to celebrate the love between a hunter and their armor. But not in terms of skills. Yeah, take that, skills. Today we are talking exclusively about fashion, after which there will be a little bonus talk about fashion, so stick around. But for now, without any further ado, here are my top five armor stats in Iceborne, aesthetically speaking. Number five, seething basil geese and coral pookie pookie. The angriest of bind cones himself, Seething Basil Geese is the father of a lot of happy things in the new world, including mutating pink flower bomb things. Evidently he is not the greatest father though, as his children do keep exploding. Boy. That escalated quickly. His armor, however, is absolutely one of the best looking sets in the game. A complete overall of the high rank basil set. This comes with beautiful and plentiful white fur trim, along with actively glowing basil shell on the actual armor itself. This stuff is just actively pulsing, the menacing red-orange that we've all come to know and love, and the scales all have a sort of pearlescent sheen on top of that to get them some of those pink and purple colors from the fight, and it integrates into the armor set and it's beautiful, and honestly, the greatest thing in my opinion about this set is the waist. That thing is just awesome, and it has all of these working physics and everything. I just consider this set undeniably beautiful and easily deserving of this spot. And actually, so you all know, Josh and I both independently came up with our list of top fives based on the male and female armor sets, obviously. And for four out of the five, we actually totally agreed, with the exception, of course, being this one. So now I present to you Josh's number five, Coral Pookie Pookie. And I've already talked a lot about a number five so far, so I'll keep this sort of short and sweet, so to say. The Pookie armor shape has always been awesome. It's somehow like a ranger, but sort of like a nobleman ranger in Master Rank. And the Coral Pookie color scheme on top of that shape, of course, just enhances the no nobleman feel. Sure, it makes you feel sort of like Robin Hood, but much more like Sir Robin Hoodings of Astera. It's fantastic. Number 4. Ruiner Nergigante well, honestly, there is only one word to truly describe Runer Nergigante's armor, and that word is... A badass. Code for badass. Yeah. So badass. Just spikes everywhere, head to toe, the beautiful mix of metal spikes in with non-metal spikes, and honestly, just even the shape of the scaly plates of the armor is just fantastically Done. And don't even get me started on the cape, I mean even Edna Mode would be okay with this. The beta set also allows you to dye the entirety of the purple bits, which just makes for a surprisingly customizable set as a whole. And as a whole, the Runer set capitalizes a lot on what made the high rank Nergi set great, but in a much flashier and sleeker package surrounded by striking metal spikes. So I'm a big fan of this one, and I absolutely think that it should be our good old number four. Number three, Ebony Odogaron. I mean, if the last armor set was badass, then this armor set is, well, also badass. They're both badass, but in my humble opinion, this one is just that little bit more so. You're free to disagree, but I think anyone with eyes would agree that this set is absolutely cool in its own right. I don't get it. The female set looks pretty good, don't get me wrong. In fact, I'd happily label it an 8 out of 10, if not even higher, but the goddamn male set is easily a 9 or even a 9.5 out of 10 on a good day. Like, holy crap, every inch of this is awesome. The scaly bits looking like some sort of tempered metal covered in hide straps to add to the shape with just beautiful engraved patterns worked into it. The waist, a tattered robe tied around with some sort of flames on it for speed, of course. And then the crown jewel that is the helmet. The little scarf lead up into a straight up skull with glowing red eyes and then the little fucking awesome hat, okay? I like circle hats. Oh, look, this set, it deserves everything good that happens to it. Number two, Guild Palace. Look at it! Oh, I, oh, I, I love it, 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 I love it. This needs to be layered because that is my dream. You know I am all about the goddamn shiny knight, big sword, deus vault luck, and oh, this is just the Pinnacle! I have hope because the last equivalent set at high rank did end up being layered, so maybe perhaps one day I will get to just permanently look like this, but until then, I am wearing swimsuit layered because it's the best 
option. The super fancy, intricate detail, the metalwork is just divine. Hats off to the blacksmith. Give him my best. Yeah, oh, there's no aspect. And normally, I don't even really like the flowy cloak look because it clips through great swords constantly. But on this, I feel like I would make an exception. And uh, well, I'll stop rambling about it now. But my word, this has got to be one of the best design things I've ever seen in Monster Hunter. Yes. Please. Number one, Namiel. Between the alpha and beta sets for this monster, you'll find extremely different designs, but every one of them is fantastic and eccentric in its own way, offering a bit of something for everyone. Well, you know, not quite everyone, but like, you know, two or three different people. Like earlier, I do think that there is a slight discrepancy between the male and female sets for this monster, as personally, I'd rate the female set as more of a 9 out of 10, but goddamn, the male alpha set is a straight 10 out of 10 for me. It somehow manages to be extremely edgy and cool, while simultaneously graceful and actually pretty. You won't hear me call an armor set pretty often, but goddamn is this pretty. You're goddamn right. The leathery looking bits are entirely made from Namiel's wing flap type skin, and of course the texture is dead on, even having neat little patterns that you can only see properly in a different lighting, which I love. The underside of the wing flaps on the armor is also just gorgeous. The bright orange gradient out to a blue with light strips all along the tentacle appendages, and then of course the mask, which is is just ugh, there's, there's no words for how fucking awesome that helmet is and then it just represents the monster it is from perfectly the entire set and there's something great about that especially when the monster that the set represents is one as great in her own right as Namiel. Alright everyone, I've been Cotton Dinosaur, and these have been the top 5 armor sets in Iceborne. Hey Cotton, shut up! It's uh -oh. me now! Hello everyone! I think it might be fun if you all get a chance to show off the most core, intrinsic, valuable part of every hunter's skill set. Their fashion sense. Dun 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 zoom in type of thing, I don't know, maybe. So, what I thought would be fun is that every week or two, I run down the very best sexy, cool, badass, weird, cosplay-themed, colorful, crazy, I mean, awful that it's so awful that it's good, a kind of, what am I even looking at? Anything. Something that you stand out in and like, wow, that's a, okay, I see what you did there, with an armor set, and and then you get to show them off to everyone, and we can judge who is the best fashion hunter. Because, of course, that is the loftiest goal for every single person who has ever put on a monster's skin. So, if you're not already in the Discord, join it from the link down below. There will be a channel, Fashion Hunting, where you can submit pictures or a list of gear and colors that it should be and then we can put it on and show it for you but ideally for maximum brownie points submit a little video of you walking around in it and honestly you can get creative with it if you want there is nothing stopping you from giving it a little bit of an editing sprinkle but i realize that's not something 99% of people are going to do either way some way of conveying what actually is going on and then you might very end up in the first Fashion Friday! Back to you, Cotton! I... Alright then, like if you liked the video, subscribe and hit the notification bell for more, and most importantly, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, stay sweet. This is the brand new outro to tell you all the things that you do that we love, so let's start with something simple and say, Oh, we love your eyes. When they're watching us play video games, when we make a bunch of jokes that are kinda lame, or when they gaze upon our failures as we try to kill the monsters or important, important news about the kingdom and Amelia. Rage, Cotton, and Hollow are all here, talking about the things you want to hear. So if you want to be the first to hear, like and subscribe and the bell and we'll cheer. Some of you are patrons, even though we are all the noobs and you're the pros, there's nothing we can do to thank you. No, really, there's nothing. Nothing we could possibly do. Goodbye.